Beautiful puck drop here at Mattamy Athletic Center. Now time for the rivalry to get going. These two teams have faced each other three times before this. One more meeting in the regular season after today. Toronto with a series lead 2-1. In the New York zone right now, battling along the near wall. And you see Alice Shelton, she uses the net, dishes it to Abby Rock, and then she's ahead of the puck because she's looking to jump into the neutral zone. Blair Durbel takes it away with a feed to Malte, and a shot saved by Schroeder came out of her net. Well, and that's why Turnbull and Malte are playing together. And another one by Turnbull. That one off the elbow, stick side, reflected well in the far corner. Well, that line with Malte, Turnbull, and Connor is really setting the tempo early in the game, and it starts off with a heavy forecheck, and they're able to seal the wall, turn that puck over the neutral zone, and get going the other way. And it's also about taking the puck. Look at the feet moving to be able to corral that puck, and just that beautiful pass, drawing in the coverage, opening up the seam, and that dish. And then look at that shoulder check by Connors, recognizing that Turnbull is lost in coverage in that high slot area for that one-timer, but shorter to task with the blocker save. New York with the defensive zone for a win, but Hannah Miller turns it over. Now Nurse looking for some support, tries to put the forward Spooner getting near the net in front. Miller was right there. Those two outstanding goal scorers for Toronto. Spooner again off the pad that time with Schroeder. Near corner, Zandy Hart trying to dislodge the puck, getting her stick on it. Miller. Um, you're seeing Natalie Spooner right in her wheelhouse. She has 47 shots coming in this game, and you know that she will be parked right out front. She will move her body accordingly to get her stick on the puck. And those were your top two Toronto goal scorers. Of course, 10 for Natalie Spooner, three for Hannah Miller, including that one in front of the net, Peyton Levis that time. She's been getting some near moments, near chances, one to watch, according to head coach Howie Draper, Toronto. Well, yeah, he, he spoke to us pre-game, talked about her moving her feet, you know, getting pucks to the net, and she's certainly one that when she breaks through, she's going to break through with a vengeance. Hobson, forward to Jaguer. That one off the body of Rougeau, far side. Uh, Jaguer is one of those players who doesn't have a point yet, and let me tell you, in her NCAA, she has outrageous numbers, and you know that she can dance with the puck, just a matter of making sure that she's doing things a little bit quicker. And she finds it again, LaBelle, helping her maintain, but can't get through the wall of LaRock and Fast. Fast finds it this time near side. And they mentioned Levis, but for Jaguar, I mean, 99 goals and 134 assists at Clarkson, incredible. Samantha Kogan carrying it up near side. She gets in front. Vasco was right there. And once more. Pressure from Fellman this time near corner for New York. It's Moves past the crease of Schroeder. She had to get her stick on that. And you see that Toronto is coming at New York with two players, in particular below the goal line, really on the hunt. A ton of pressure on the forecheck. Malte said that she worked on that. The team's been working on that all week. It shows. Now well, LaBelle flips it up to Vespa this time. Brings around Vespa getting her first PWA jungle on this ice January 1st for New York. Connors shoots. Kick saved by Schroeder. Near wall, trying to get that rebound. Now Monroe keeps it, kept it down below the goal line from Malte. She'll work it from there. Sharp angle, looking for the pass in front. And Sandy Hart uses the stick there just to take away the space to the net. Malte was looking for kind of dead angle shot. She had net front presence as well as back door. LaBelle once again trying to work it up the far side this time. Abby Rock will do the work, dig in. Monroe. Throwing around the physicality, New York in front, Bourbonnet. Here's the whistle. Oh, it's gonna be a roughing call, and it's gonna be along the boards. And you're gonna see just along the boards, Monroe goes up and just lays the shoulder to Jill Saulnier, who's back. And some chances earlier, Toronto just in and on the hunt here. Look at the push towards the net. Who finds that puck? It's Natalie Spooner right in her wheelhouse, putting it on, and Kogan on the board line. Look at the shield to be able to cut back on the backhand forehand. But Schroeder makes the save. And New York winning that draw shorthanded. Miller over to Spooner this time. The third best power play meets the third best penalty kill in the league between these two teams. And of course, New York coming off of their very first jailbreak goal. Alex Carpenter's second goal in their game on Wednesday against Montreal. Fast 
pushes it over to Nurse this time. They're working it from their blue line, carries it over. Back to Miller, near side. Fast and LaRock. Trade passes. Bring it down low. Spooner in front. But Taylor Baker on fast. Miller, back to LaRock. Shoots in the glove. Well, and some perimeter movement, but it's Natalie Spooner is trying to take away the eyes of Schroeder, and that's not easy. She's a big goaltender. Some work down low, it's always about possession over position. As you can see, Renata Fast down below the goal line there as it works itself high. She isn't behind Micah Zandi Hart, who is fronting Natalie Spooner, and see her moving alongside Schroeder just to make sure she's taking away the sidelines. This power play is brought to you by Royale Tiger Tower. Power through tough messes. Toronto looking to establish a consistent presence, but here comes Alex Carpenter. She's got that shorthanded goal already, the first for New York in their last game. Turned over, chasing it down. Shelton gets their first. Howard looks to get a stick on it. And Shelton, over. Shelton, who scored the first ever goal in this building on January 1st, fires that puck down 200 feet, and Toronto got to find a way to generate some good quality shots. Only three for 34, just 8.8% .8 on the power play, Daniela. And Jesse Comfer, confident after scoring her first PWHL goal last Friday. Sent the crowd into a frenzy at Scotiabank Arena. Still time on the power play here. Flanagan. Back up to Comfer. They'll trade back and forth. Victoria Bach now. Circling, finding space. Cross eyes pass, a little too hot to Howard. Well, they like to go for a change there, so unfortunately they give New York the numbers and they're gonna get out with possession. Flanagan meets the puck in Toronto's zone. Now Malte change, trying to change the tempo here. Moving quick, loose puck, batted away from Carpenter. Back again in the Toronto zone. New York able to move out of their own end from that draw rock. Hooks it forward, but Kogan takes it near side this time. She's stopped by Baker. Fellman to Rock along the blue line. Using the wall fast and Kogan. But Jesse Eldridge nearly comes away with it. On the see fast and the rock and fast plays well north of 25 minutes as an average. A reason why her and the rock Got a practice off. They had three in their week off, and they were able to get a little bit of rest, maintenance. Of course, they watched some video, and I, I think that's calculated and smart. Shelton rushing to find the puck. Left behind her, Woods. Sends it over, and back again, Shelton now. Trying to find some space as Caitlin Willoughby gets in on the four check. Brooke Hobson with speed near side. Sends it around to Jaguar. Far point, Bourbonnet turned around, Monroe. Nice to extend it to Leslie. Uh, Leslie was gonna ride the line, just try and get in behind. But Hobson was very aware of her. Monroe, one of those players Troy Ryan talked about. She blocks shots, she gets in the way, she plays a feisty hard game. She's tough to play against. Now Olivia Knowles. She tried for the stretch pass to Leslie and rolls through. Bourbonnet meets it, along with pressure from Natalie Spooner. Side, Sarah Nurse battling for it. Kept away by Zandi Hart. And now, getting in close to the net. It's kept away from Toronto in the slot. They'll pick it up in the neutral zone this time. Well, wow, some nice work, hard below the goal line, two on it, and Nursing Spooner, they're able to, to get that puck. They have to find a way to do something with it. The shot to net, but good back pressure as well. Sandy Hart with patience, but here comes Hannah Miller. Feeds at center, saved by Schroeder. Jumping right into it, New York. Coming away with it, though, Victoria Bach. She's finding her place back on the team. Settling in after signing that standard player agreement earlier this month. Also getting that first BWHL goal on the empty netter last week, Cheryl. Uh, I mean, she's such a skilled athlete, and, and she can move and distribute the puck extremely well. And she's playing on the flank here, so a natural center now playing the wing, and so something.
to get used to, but Trey Ryan says that she's embracing that as well. And it's always about possession over position. Now you see one of the best in the game go to the dot out. Carpenter just shy of 60% right now. Now leading her team in face-off percentages, she truly can do it all, Cheryl. Oh uh, yeah, and then on her flank, you got Abby Rock, who's, who's pitching, you know, well over 55. So you got a left-right combination that can be lethal at the drop of the puck. There, Turnbull trying to use the near side wall. Now Connors has it. It's kept away by Solnier. Kept in by Malte this time. Turned around Flanagan with a shot in the glove of Schroeder. She comes in and she recognizes she's one on four. It all starts in the neutral zone. A battle there in their first position. You can see the shield by Connor. She loses it. Who picks it up? Malte. She can fire that on net, but she looks to go across the grain because she sees Turnbull coming down her onside. Nonetheless, Turnbull does set up shop in front of Schroeder, who finds the puck. Back in the New York zone. Flanagan sending it down for Toronto. Spooner there as well, providing that support. Below the goal line, Bourbonnet. Yeah, that's nice positioning by Miller. She was above the passing option, so she could close on Jesse Eldridge, and that forces the dump in. No speed through the neutral zone for New York. Monroe finds the puck first. Eldridge. Good bump in the end boards. Eldridge again from Barry, Ontario. Bit of a homecoming for her. Several players on New York's roster. Yeah, she's got four goals and four assists as well. She's on the 2022 World Championship team in Denmark that won gold for Canada. Currently sitting at 10th in league scoring. New York with three players in that top 10 right now, including Alex Carpenter at the top. Well, Ellie Shelton at seventh. Well, if you're watching Eldridge, also look net front as well and below the goal line because he, much like Spooner, likes to set up shop in front of the blue paint. Back and forth we go. Now a chance brewing to Levis. Saved by Campbell. Deflect another chance here. Jaguer takes it from the slot. Feeds it through to Shelton in the glove this time. Kristen Campbell dialed in early. Bourbonnet tries to send it into the slot, and LaRock coming through with a turnover to Fast, and doesn't quite connect. What a chance coming in close to Schroeder. That's modern day D. Both pairings up in the rush. Now Bourbonnet, she's stopped by Maggie Connors this time. Coming up on Rock, though, LaBelle. Had to keep on the attack. Shelton to Bourbonnet back again. Shelton from the point. Through traffic. Bell and Fast getting caught up on one another in the slot. Now Malte, she's trying to find an open pass. We'll chip it down. Well, she was just throwing that puck in the air, knowing that they needed a line change. Now they'll try and get on sort of a controlled forecheck here. Try and squeeze to one side of the ice, and they get the turnover. That was a nifty pass on the blue line, but New York defending Bach. Can't feed it through. She had Howard with her. Monroe on the point, LaBelle batting at it for New York. Vespa up to Fellman and all the way down. Uh, right from their own zone, Toronto is able to get active on the rush. And again, it's just look at the turnover here. It's Jocelyn your defender up in the rush. And guess who's right mid lane trying to get her stick loose to get on that puck? It's going to be Renata Fast, her partner. So all the forwards in behind them, and they nearly convert to get the first goal of the game. Right in front, Comfer again looking to feed it. Rougeau winds up, just keeping it down deep. Comfer bats at it. Now Baker looks to rim it around for New York. Eldridge, clearing pass over to Downey Landry. She's got space near that shoots. And Orard was looking to scoop it up on the rebound. She's still looking for her first PWHL goal. And a change coming for New York. Allows Rougeau to settle the puck behind Campbell's net. Moves it up to Knowles this time. She's got Nurse. She'll take Spooner near side with speed. Shoots! And another big stop by Schroeder, the rebound near side. Taken away by Nurse this time, but battling for it. Well, that's just a willingness on the puck by Sarah Nurse. You see how strong she lowers that bottom hand. She lowers her shoulder. She bends her knees, and, and that's how you have a stick check. Miller coming up on Peyton Levis for New York board. Battle gets sticky right in front of the New York bench. them 
Trying to take up the space, pushing her weight around is Elizabeth Jiguer. Natalie Spooner can't quite control it, but was there on the blue line. Stop that effort. Nurse up to Spooner again. She'll go around this time. Hops and beats her to it. Support from LaRock in blue, but New York defending Emma Woods in the mix. Coming around this time, Kogan tries for the wraparound. Bourbonnet right on it with her stick. Here's a chance, LaRock. Up to Leslie this time. And around they go, trying to shake off Jaguar. Leslie looks to feed it to Vasco. Um, Toronto's doing a real nice job of retrieving the puck and, and, and owning it in the offensive zone. They just have to do something with it, not force play into the middle of the ice before they move the coverage in the middle. They want to open it up, then look to distribute. Now, Vasco comes in with a shot. It's just wide off the end board. Kept in by Kogan. Monroe shoots. Stick saved by Schroeder. She's now faced 10 shots on goal. The home team with the edge 10 to 6 on those shots. Plenty of pressure. Turnbull looking for a clean pass. Pass that's kept by Baker. Trying to find some room to Saulnier. Knowles. Passes out with speed down deep. And Malte coming in fast. But Malte was coming in on one side of Schroeder, so he forced her to push it the other way, and Connors nearly got on that puck. Now Madison Packer takes a shot. Saved by Schroeder. Into the near wall we go. Continued momentum here. Both sides. The Rock. Back to Turnbull and fast. Up to Connors this time. They cycle it around. Takes Malte. In the center. Back to Connors. She's got room, shot blocked by Fellman. And once again, a nifty move, hoping to collect it on the other side of the net. Fast, fires it, and it goes into the crowd. Face-off for New York is Jade Downey-Landry. She also handles plenty of business in the face-off circle. But Knowles will send it right back into the New York zone this time. Bourbonnet trying to find some space. I don't know Howard in blue. Chloe O'Rard, pass it far side, and Joe collects it along the blue line. Up to Victoria Bach this time. Got Comfer with her. And send it down, Howard to Flanagan. Back up to Comfer in front. Not quite a bite on that one. Eldridge, she'll go cross ice to Downey Landry. Bounces off her skate, now Bach. Toronto can't control that one. Danny Landry down low. Ali Monroe trying to move the puck up for Toronto. Get it out of the zone. Emma Woods nearly with her stick on it. Flanagan fires back. Zandy Hart, a sharp angle. Jaguar picks it up. Woods shoots. And again, another one. Second rebound. Howard trying to work it out of the zone. Well, and Emma Woods gets into a, a real nice pocket to be able to get that shot off. And it's going to be a penalty here. It's going to be that open ice contact. And Howard is going to be the, really be the, the benefactor of Levis. And earlier, Campbell had to make some saves. We talked about Woods. She just recognized that there was four Toronto players low, so she popped into that high slot area to get that shot off. But Kristen Campbell reading where she was going to make that save. Eldridge up to Bourbonnet. Carpenter, of course, on the special teams, they've been on the power play and on the PK in their last game. Carpenter doing the job on both of those. Shelton scoops it up, takes it into the circle with a pass. That one to Rock, disrupted. Carpenter collects it. Bourbonnet, far side. Bothered by Emma Malte and will Rock send it around, looks to clear it or wait for Turnbull to meet the buck. Instead, Rock, once again, Teeing up a, a lane, open to Shelton off the post. Shelton again, up to Bourbonnet. Plenty of time and pressure here. Rock with a shot up. High, that one got to get a piece of Campbell. Back to it, New York with patience. Coming in Eldridge to Carpenter. Rock in front, looking to block it, Bourbonnet. 
Shelton again. Plenty of time on the ice for these players. Rock turns back right in front. Eldridge and that one it was all Jocelyn LaRock. Well, I mean, she's one of the greatest defenders in the world from the defensive standpoint, and she knows how to take a player and use her stick to activate and make sure she takes away space. But Jamie Bourbonnet activating. I mean, she was jumping down through the middle of the ice, and it really caused some chaos. And now Emma Woods jumping on it, getting in close with back behind the net. Nurse looking to get her stick on it. Rougeau fires it down. This is the best penalty kill in the league, by the way, PWHL Toronto. And they're 10 for 10 on the kill against New York through their three games. Yeah, 94%, not, not too shabby. They want, they want the power play to be better, but the PK's been doing its job. In fact, it was 6 for 6 in that game a week ago against Montreal. And when you have to weather the storm against Poulin, you've done a good job. Danny Landry over to Zandy Hart. From the point that time. Fast, trying to keep it away, Spooner. Stick handling down low. Downey Landry getting the shove from Fast, but hops in on it. Now Downey Landry feeds it over. Here's a shot up. Zandy Hart. Some players getting tangled down low, but Toronto now with the puck. Back to even strength we go. The crowd not liking what they saw. There's a broken stick out on the ice. The Rock. Batted free by LaBelle that time. Now Vespa nearly coming away with it. New York. With some room, LaBelle. That one turned away, and LaRock has got to keep it. Packer was hoping for the takeaway. Instead, LaBelle comes in in the neutral zone. Howard fighting for it. Toronto going for the change, but some physical back and forth, and that will do it for the first period. How would you evaluate the start for your team? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think my team was too better to be honest. Um, didn't really come up with a hop. We knew we were gonna have a good game against Toronto here, so um, I think we got to be a little bit more physical and make the puck pass on the tape, and I think we'll be just fine. Well, you're a big part of the team's three-game win streak in overtime, though, needing to work a little bit harder there, Jill. Uh, what can you say just about the team's effort and kind of finding your feet back in it? <laughs> yeah, I'm over the overtimes to be honest. Uh, but uh, the team battles all the time. Uh, they do a really good job. We, we battled the last second, obviously. So we're hoping to get a win here in regulation. But um, obviously, we got a tough fight in front of us. So we're excited for the rest of the game. Thank you so much, Jill. Thanks, man. So close. This game will determine whether someone leapfrogs. Had just two points separating them. And with that three-point regulation win, it's, it's up there. And as Jill Saulnier said during the intermission, kind of tired of those overtimes. But they'll take the win however they can get them. New York will. In the New York zone we go. The visitors chasing down. They spent a lot of time in their own end the first period. Alex Carpenter on the ice, though, got Rock with her. That pass to Carpenter picked off by Malte. Quickly sent back. Fast now. Carrying it over the blue line. Circling. Taking a wide in front. Shoots. Malte was right there. It is not only saved, it stopped that momentum shift right in front of the net. Well, and Renata jumps up in the play and creates the offense, and now she's 200 feet back. Wind-up shot. That one just wide, but Jaguar lets loose. Well, and it starts in their own zone, and it starts with Emma Bolte, and the details look, it's a little bit of a turnover, a miscue there. She's able to corral the puck, and Renata Fast jumps up the wall, and just a little bit of a shoulder check, drives outside the dot to bring Jamie Bourbonnet with her, who loses her stick. That's what opens up the ice, and then you got Turnbull and Bolte crashing the net, and earlier chance by Jaguar. I think she, at some point, is going to bite, and a little bit of a shove after the whistle as well. New York comes away with it, takes a shot. Down low, Jaguar again, another on Campbell. Turns that aside. Uh, Jaguar is a player I've watched throughout her career in, in the NCAA at Clarkson, and, and you got to figure at some point. Now Nurse, she gets in the slot. Got to figure she's going to connect. Spooner winds up, shot into the netting, and Spooner had a two-goal game against New York the last time. They were the only two goals for the team. And that shot just fanned on by Bob, but she was set up high slot. Howard. Looking to get her stick on it. It's loose. Eldridge with speed near side. She's going to try to find the middle. No, take it outside. And that's entering feed to Arard. Just push to the outside again. Going back the other way in the neutral zone now. Arard. Sandy Hart. Trying to help her out for New York. 
Well, that's a nice shift by Jesse Eldridge. She got a short side shot, low back. Bach carrying it all the way through. Backhand saved by Schroeder. Deflected, and New York will look to carry it the other way. Comfer getting on it. Bach again in the neutral zone this time. It's what the team said that they were working on during their week. I don't want to say off, a week of rest and practice. A week of rest, and you see Jocelyn LaRock, the oldest player on the team below the goal line on the forecheck. Coming in fast now. New York on the attack. Bourbonnet looks to bump Vasco off the puck. Can't quite. There's LaRock. Over to Fast. She gets stopped. Her space taken away by Packer. Uh, Packer's got her stick as well. Now Samantha Kogan finds herself not quite alone. Vasco trying to fight to support Shelton. Rooms it around Rock far side. That's a really nice catch by Rock. Now Ella Shelton driving the action in front. Carpenter right there. Campbell with a massive stop. Especially when you have Shelton and Carpenter swarming. Well, Troy Ryan talked to us about the Vanessa player of Victoria Bach coming through the middle of the ice. And a little shady dangle there. Just throws it to the net on the backhand. And then, of course, it goes the other way. And this play by Shelton just finding a way to take the space. And especially when you've got players like Rock going to the net, driving to push the coverage back. But Ella Shelton starts that play behind the net, shielding the puck, and then jumps in on the turnover and takes it all the way to the net. Even with Carpenter on the draw, Toronto takes it away. Turnbull back to Connors, centering feed in front. Monroe catches a piece of the post, far side. Now along the wall and off she goes. Alex Carpenter, but Connor stays with her. Flanagan with her stick on it, back to Monroe quickly now near side. Jaguer keeps it in from the point. Flanagan. Back up on Woods this time. Now Rock with the feet in front. It's loose. I like Woods' games. I, I mean, the shoulder check she had going into the corner there, looking and then getting net front for Rock to be able to throw it out there and almost puts it by Campbell. But Toronto having some good chances as well. It's good puck movement through the neutrals. A little pop play, and that's how you keep your speed. Drive to the coverage, then kick it outside. Hit the trailer and just unable to convert. As a defender, Ali Monroe jumping into that soft spot in that high ice, that nice shield by Abby Rock to put it to the net. And the Woods trying to do the spinorama there, but all starts down below that goal line. Abby Rock, one of the best players in the game in small space. New York will go back to the power play. Look for number 14, Jamie Bourbonnet, on the blue line to be jumping down into the slot area. Toronto, best penalty kill in the league, and that also played out in the first kill of this game. Now right in front is Rock and take the shot. It's Soft pass and Campbell can't quite cover it up. They'll keep it in play. Rock up in front to Eldridge. That's blocked. New York, not a single shot on goal. Their first power play of this game. So 0 for 1 coming into the second chance on the player advantage. Eldridge leads it back to Bourbonnet. They trade. Now Rock. Shot blocked by Fast. Bourbonnet scoops it up. Now Carpenter. She knows how to score. She's done it on the power play as well. Backhand, Shelton and lines up. But you see Bourbonnet jumping down, and then that leaves Shelton available. But Shelton's going to take a penalty on Sarah Nurse here, so there's going to be some four-on-four -four action. You can see frustration on both sides. She's going to try and plead her case as well, but she's not going to get anything there. And it's a good movement, so this power play is not static. See, it works its way low again. We mentioned those short, small spaces. And Abby Rock, that give and go. And thought she was going to take that shot right away. But a nice stick by Renata Fass. Pushes her on the outside. And then right there, she needs to put it on net on the backhand. Nice little shield here. It's going to be a, a penalty right there. Up and around the blue line. That's going to send Ella Shelton to the box. Four and four. Now Flanagan. So wait. Force down. Comfer. Around. Sandy Hart now Comfer in her skates. In New York. Once again, Comfer just tries to settle it in the slot. She goes sliding. Jade Downey Landry takes it away for New York. She'll go far side. Zandy Hart and Eldridge with her drop pass to Zandy Hart feed. Too wide. Four on four we are. Both teams 
On the power play, Vasco with a feed to Monroe. Just this time slightly. Rock. She collects herself. Pass to Hobson. Carry it all the way around. Looking for some space that's getting taken up by Toronto. Now Victoria Bach comes away with it. She's got to keep her stick on it. Control, Bach. Now five on four for Toronto. Carpenter Malte, she throws it on the net. Gets the side piece of it. This power play is brought to you by Royale Tiger Towel. Power through tough messes. You saw the short side shot by Malte as well, who has a goal and five assists this year so far. She's pretty strong in small space herself, and she's been shooting the puck a lot more lately because she's got that elevated confidence coming off the rivalry series success she's had. Toronto on their second power play. Rock over to Fast. Got Kogan in the slot along with Malte down low. Rock to Turnbull. Chipped in Kogan. Neat shot down low. Malte gets a piece of it. Sent around, final five seconds. Well, not as much movement on that power play. You can see sort of that 1-3-1 one, one set with no Spooner out there. We're not enough traffic in front of Schroeder. Yeah, Howie not convinced, Howie Draper not convinced that we've seen the best out of each and every single one of his players. And that's a pretty exciting thing for a coach, Madison Packer. Little backhanded. Stop there by Ali Monroe. And Ali Monroe is having a good game. I mean, she blocked a ton of shots in that February 16th game and shutting down neutral ice there. And Abby Rock, just a, a critical player for New York. We go back to Montreal, the shootout, and what a shot. I mean, just look at that. She gets in tight. It looks like she has no room, a little bit of a head fake, and you can hear the bar. And it goes in. So I'd like to see that shot a little bit more. But again, another player who's dialed in, got that competitive edge to her. And listen, she's she's not afraid to, to get things going and rough it up a little bit. And I heard she's an excellent chirper. Oh, she chirps. <laughs> Jill Salnier now trying to keep on the attack for New York. Back and forth. Second period. Inside Madame, the home team leading in shots on goal, 15 to 13. Now Maggie Connors carrying it up. She's got a chance, just takes the shot instead. Schroeder makes the save. Bourbonnet defending. Creates some space to clear here for New York, but Rougeau gets in the way. Both teams battling now on the end boards. Both teams, by the way, now have shootout wins under their belts. Both against Montreal at that, and Lorianne Rougeau scored a shootout winner for Toronto in their matchup. And yeah, Abby Rock got the scoring going in the shootout for New York. And in front of the net, Campbell makes the save, dives out for it. Downey Landry and Carpenter dangerously close. Getting around now, Zandy Hart from the point. She had Jaguar with, with her down low. Baker, one-timer. Again, puck loose and Carpenter in the crease. It'll be a cover-up and a chance to breathe for Campbell. Well, the last time she played New York, she made 19 of 19 for that shutout. And she is standing tall. You can see Campbell looking off to see where everyone is on the ice. That's why she's able to push across and get that right hand to be able to make the save for one of the gifted goal scorers, most gifted goal scorers in the game. You see a little shove there by Jaguar saying, get out of my way here. And then, of course, jumping down is Taylor Baker, the defender jumping down into the slot, gets another shot. Claire Turnbull, one of the face-off leaders for Toronto. Quick shot on goal, Campbell turns it aside. New York picks up the rebound now. Downey Landry, that no-look pass ends up on Connor stick, she tries to work around, has support from Malte. Captain in the slot, now Connors still working her way through it. Downey Landry intercepts. Carpenter flips up. Back to Downey Landry. Takes it in close, cuts in front. And that was a moment, a big chance for New York. Now Toronto takes it away, their side. Malte with a pass to Connors, goes up high instead. Back with the net, Bourbonnet with pressure. 
stops that from developing any further. Vespa up to Carpenter gets pushed over by Renata Fast. Cutting around Spooner with a wraparound. Use box sent forward by Bourbonnet. Marat back to Nurse. We'll take it center through the middle, gets pinched out. We got a penalty on the way. Plenty of action. Toronto back on the power play after this. Uh, and Sarah Nurse gets chopped by Vess. Uh, so she's going to get the slashing call. Sarah Nurse pulls it off the boards, comes through the middle of the ice. And because she's got some speed coming in from behind, you don't move your feet, you use your stick. That's the call. Maroc has Miller with her near side. Miller trying to find some room in front, and Spooner's right there. Schroeder just a little faster. I think the power play mantra when Spooner is out there is just put the puck to the net, and she will find the puck. Just look at her net front there. And she moves off. She's a right-handed shot, so she's trying to, to make her stick available for that pass and just looks to get on it, but Schroeder covers quickly. We are the lone power play goal scorer for Toronto so far. A good chance there, now fast. Doesn't get the pass off. She's got Nurse with her. Nurse with some speed, back up to fast. Working at trying to find some space. Once again, below the goal line. Miller, a distraction. Laroc. back to Miller this time. Spooner net front. There's a shot by LaRock, catches the bodies in front. Zandy Hart, Carpenter falling over each other fast to Miller. Circles around, trying to get past Rock and Zandy Hart. Back up to fast this time. Far side, LaRock. Disrupted by Shelton. And Sarah Nurse, she drew the penalty. She'll circle back. Trying to find some space to bring it in the middle. It's all on the perimeter right now, LaRock. From the point, shot through traffic. And again, a chance, Miller bats at it. Rock goes to clear, LaRock stops it. Near point, fast, fires it. Up into the netting. Samantha Kogan trying to keep it away. Blair Turnbull keeps possession for Toronto. Final 20 seconds here on this third power play. For the home team, Turnbull again turns away. Get past Hobson. Now Flanagan, Rougeau. That shot. LaBelle gets on it there. Downey Landry, too. Turnbull in the neutral zone. Final seconds. As Vespa is released. And New York collects it in their own end. Baker tries to clear it. Kept in Monroe, not quite. Loose puck, neutral zone. Howard on it first. Turnbull takes it away, takes a shot in the glove of Schroeder. Woods coming to this one now. Finding it far side. Extending her stick to get on it. Support from Packer. In the corner, board battle. Wrapped around his comfort. Looking to free it for Toronto. Monroe. Working around. And New York sends it in front. Packer was right there. Woods, too. Bourbonnet down by the goal line this time. Bach chips it forward to Howard. Howard with a backhand pass. Shelton keeps it away. Winds around. Has vision on the ice. Finds Packer. Over to Woods. And up again they go. Sonye. But on a line change, they go. And Toronto working with momentum. Here comes Bach. She's going to find her feet. No, it goes too far the other way. Carpenter up to Eldridge now. Turning the tides. We're not a fast. Getting in the way. Eldridge wrapped around in a collision with an official. They'll get back up, but board battle. Far side. Fast to LaRock. Carpenter and Eldridge coming in close. Baker now. And you can see on both sides, really, you know, they're just the errant passing. So it's leading to turnovers and the puck going the other way. And just the sequences, just not precision with their execution. And what a check on Renata Fast. Rebecca Leslie skating, finds a shot. Schroeder with the save. Toronto 
trying to get going here on the attack. Back behind Spooner. Looking for the wraparound, and of course, Nurse was right there on the doorstep. Skims by Miller now. Feeds it through Baker with a big block. Miller again. Stick handles back to the point. Flanagan to Nurse. Chipped in, looking for something to get going. Back behind the net this time. Baker, Downey Landry pushing their weight on Spooner. And Miller, Spooner grinding it out, cutting around, trying to find some room. Miller now. Nurse is there too. Spooner feeds it back to Flanagan, winds up. Flanagan again, bringing it in front. Downey Landry to clear. Nurse has it. Along the goal line, she'll use her edge to try to work around Downey Landry and Spooner with a big check. Uh, a lot of hard work down below the goal line, but Sarah Nurse is her positioning up high and then knowing when to come down into the slot. Nice little soft pop to be able to look to get a puck and then backing out when she thinks that her team needs help. She did a great job there. Defensive zone draw. Abby Rock, by the way, sitting at 58.8% on the season coming into this in the face-off circle. Bourbonnet sends it up and over to Carpenter. She'll be patient for Rock. Eldridge there. Well, and that's the IQ of Alex Carpenter, right? She, she recognizes that she's isolated, so she just waits just a second to get some help. Malte driving towards the net. Stopped by Hobson and Alex Carpenter. She's got to feed it over to Eldridge. Rock has it now. She lets loose that one. Sounds like it got a piece of the post. Carpenter flings it back. And Emma Malte for Toronto. Right off the bench though, LaBelle coming straight across the ice. Needing the puck. Sandy Hart sends it back to Packer in these quick touch passes. And you know what I'm finding right now is that that first player is an outlet, but then they don't have an option for a second pass out. And that's what's, you know, it's really stymieing the speed of play because no one's getting hit on the fly right now. Rebecca Leslie trying to carry it up herself for Toronto. Shelton, another player with great vision on the ice for New York. Chip it down, stop Packer low and in front. LaBelle in the slot. Packer forced to the outside again, chasing it. Baker with the first touch. Toronto, Ontario native. True homecoming for Taylor Baker of PWHL New York. Monroe. Stick handling out of the zone. Well, and she played at the 2023 Worlds for Hungary, also with the PHF Montreal Force. Where she had nine points in 24 games. Matt Taylor Baker. What a great story, and so many international connections, including with Hannah Miller and the Chinese national team. But Howard has it to Comfer. Stopped in front. Bach was right there, couldn't get the rebound off. Uh, that's side. textbook triple drive. Another chance, Comfer. And get her stick on a Flanagan to Howard. Can't get the one-timer off Bach behind. Toronto sustained here in the offensive zone, not quite. Flanagan can't handle that. Now, Jaguer gets loose. Makes the pass to Levis. Not quite Jaguer again. What a turnaround, and away we go. Bach now headed towards the New York net. Shelton easily takes it away. He's got Levis and Eldridge. Quick redirect, sends it around the boards. Eldridge down low. We're in the final minute here in the second period. Shelton from the point. Up high, it's deflected off of Campbell. Well, and there's chances at both ends. And you feel the game really opening up, and you feel the crowd go, ooh, and ah, because it's going both ways. And get your feet moving right away. This is a triple drive. Look at that far side. That's a beautiful pass, and acting as a decoy through the middle of the ice is Victoria Bach. They're able to retrieve the puck, and once you retrieve it, you get it going. But it goes the other way, and the Jaguar just can't buy one. She was trying to stall to allow the defender to come to her to be able to make a pass, but both goaltenders standing tall in the crease and denying. Back and forth, Bourbonne and Shelton. They've got some time here. They'll go back and forth, Shelton. Makes the wind-up pass to Rock. They'll trade places. Farside, Shelton. Rock. 
working through their system. Slow and steady rock back to Bourbonnais. And Shelton takes a shot. Blocked by Emma Malte, and there comes the speed. Emma Malte in fast, just squeezes by Shelton. Quick tempo change. The Rock has it. Now Turnbull shorthanded up high. Back below, plenty of pressure here on this penalty kill for Toronto, but Carpenter finds it. Now take it away by Malte. That ends the period. There will be plenty of power play time left to start the third, but still scoreless through 40 minutes. How important is it knowing that you have defended so well through these first 40 minutes? Yeah, this week was really important for our team in general just to recover. We had a lot of girls who went from the All-Star Weekend to Rivalry Series um, into games right away, so it was nice to have this last week to kind of rest up and get ready for New York. Well, the first two periods are matching what happened last week inside Scotiabank Arena. Of course, your team coming away with the win there. What do you need to see and how do you need to keep working to, to see this win through in the third? Yeah, I like the way we've been playing so far. I think when we get in on the four check, we're so dangerous. And I think at the end of the second period there, we really took it to them. So we just need to have that attack mentality heading into the third. Thank you so much. Thank you. We get set for puck drop here in the third period. Rock and Turnbull in the middle. Rock gets the win for New York. They'll play it back, Bourbonnais and Shelton. Up to Eldridge. Race, Carpenter. Does get a touch there. But Turnbull keeps it for Toronto. Sends it up to Molte. Well, Molte just uses her stick to get it down the ice and gets the change. So comes Calm for Carpenter. Calm, cool, collected on that pass to Bourbonnais. Bumping bodies off the puck here. Carpenter again finds it. The pass to Rock. And all the way up to Eldridge. Got some room fast right on it. Well, because Renata closed so quickly on Jesse Eldridge, it pushed her into a spot. She thought she had to move the puck quicker because of that pressure. She does, and it winds up turning over and going down the ice. Now Hobson, she'll poke it through, try to get past Flanagan. Number six is on the ice. Spooner, backhand. Oh, the gears on the ice as well. Just still start back on five on five here as the New York power play will end. And Jaguar's been around it. There's a quick one on that. Zero shots as well. So they're 0 for 3 on the power play. Neither team able to get going with player advantage. Wind up shot there, long one. Catches the bodies in front. Woods battling with Spooner. Downey Landry. Coming in fast as Jaguar can't control it. Fast sends it back, finds Howard near side, still in the Toronto end. Fast out in front. Gets through the legs there of Levis. Howard now. Lucaria takes a shot, kick save. <laughs> Emma Woods helping New York's effort in the slot. Not a fast. Coming in again this time, shoots. The Rock at the point. Victoria Bach trying to get her stick on it. Battling with Johanna Fellman. Bach gets it. Support incoming from Turnbull. New York. Pressuring near corner. Back again. Turnbull now shoots. And it gets deflected in the glove. Easy for Schroeder. Well, in particular, off the rush or anytime Toronto has that puck outside the dot and they're taking that shot, there's no net front presence, so no one's there for the rebound except New York, who's able to put it to an area of safety and get the puck again. Renata, no one with her there. You know, you're better off delaying, turning back, getting some help, creating some motion, and trying to pull the coverage outside of the middle because Queen Schroeder is seeing everything. Off the glass. Pushing it down the near wall this time. Packer was low, but Rougeau gets it around LaBelle from the point. Bourbonnet returns it to LaBelle. Behind the net of Campbell, now Malte carries it over. Can't find room, takes a shot. It gets caught off the bodies. Maggie Connors gets caught up on the blue line. LaBelle. Down deep, Campbell plays it quick. The support from Ali Monroe. Monroe up to Miller, gets pushed off at Jill Salmier. Comes in with some stick handling. Toronto with a turnover, Flanagan. 
rims it around. Nurse, far side to collect. Quick touch, Spooner. He's got some space trying to create it. Carpenter right there. Now Rock. She's going to redirect, find some space, sends it around to Baker. Off the boards, Carpenter with her stick on it. Well, you're seeing it uh, again, just not being connected with speed. So you need that three, four foot pass, and you have to have someone to move it to again right away. If you don't, your speed's going to be stymied, especially coming out of the scrum. You need support, you got to get going, but a lot of the time, that puck's coming up to someone who's isolated. And players just pushing each other off the puck throughout this game, Laurent. Round to Leslie. And you see, numbers are everything in the game of hockey, and you're trying to create two on ones. Shiger with a back pass. To Emma Woods. No, Woods doesn't have it just yet. Shelton, he's up a shot, takes it. Gets the inboard instead. Woods collects the rebound. LaRock around the other way, fast. Looks for the open lane. Clears it. Hogan, Bourbonnet chasing it down. New York end. Toronto on the attack. Emma Woods trying to work through. Stop that puck, Schroeder is on it. Some words between Comfer and Shelton. Now the shot on Ned, that one. Kick saved by Schroeder. And that was another emotional day as well. Much like February 16th. So many moments in this league in March 16th, of course, the takeover in Motor City. That's a chance, it's now Downey Landry. She's got no one to help her out. Zandy Hart from the point. Up to Orard. Howard on it. Now battle Bach and Downey Landry. Back to Zandy Hart, through traffic. Eldridge in front, it's saved. Another chance, Orard. Downey Landry trying to poke it in. In front, instead, LaRock scoops it up to Howard this time. Well, and all of that comes off of a beautiful entry and it starts right from their own zone. They've got three, four connected passes with speed that get them in. And now all of a sudden, Toronto's on their heels and they get some opportunities. New York knows how to dial it in. They've done so many things in their games leading up to this point, including a three nothing comeback in the third period to win it in overtime against Ottawa. Packer, far side. Well, right now, Toronto needs to find a way to support the puck carrier. I find that they're very isolated, so the numbers are not in their favor, which makes them vulnerable. Well, a slip might have created something. No, it's a board battle. Toronto sustained pressure. Rougeau from the point. She just rips that one down. Trying to create a second chance there, Rougeau. Meets the puck first, keeps it from LaBelle. Back along the near wall, Mills. Connors in blue, Vespa has it now in front, Sonye. And Sonye already the goal this season on this very ice. Game one, day one at Mattamy, Rougeau collects it. Up to Hannah Miller, she knows how to score. Got a work around, hops into Connors that time. Not quite connected, Flanagan. Try to set it up for Nurse, down low. Hops in on her. So much pressure. Back again, Miller, Bourbonnet. Working from behind, Miller to Spooner. Can't get the shot off. Schroeder makes the save. New York coming in strong as they do it in front. Spooner, Nurse is there. Can't quite control it on the backhand. Here comes Alex Carpenter. Was flying down the far side before LaRock put a stop to it. Now Rock has it. She's gonna work her way through. Nurse has it behind the net of Campbell. That's a nice one-on-one -on -one by Renata. Carpenter catches the pad. No second chance, Spooner over to Miller. Back again they go, Spooner around. She tries to throw it on the net, now LaRock does. It's wide, Spooner just behind. Collision with Zandy Hart. Hogan, she's gonna keep it away, try to find some space to the point. Flanagan, he's got room. Vasco try to control that and it'll slow the action instead. And it's a low zone play and again this on the hunt trying to go outside in on Micah Zandy hard but Spooner finds the puck on recovery as well. She hounds it so well. Rebecca Leslie trying to work her way. She's looking for her first PWHL goal 
has had plenty of chances leading up to this game. It is the 12th game for both of these teams, the halfway mark of the regular season. Batted around, Campbell plays it quick to Flanagan, and around they go. Chasing it down is Bourbonnet. Becca Leslie right on it. Kogan was waiting in the neutral zone, not quite now. That was a feed, doesn't quite connect. Vasco again finds Leslie far near side, rather, up over. Monroe. Trying to get set up here in the offensive zone, not quite. Leslie. Falling over now, Kogan. Pressure from the other number 17, Shelton. Well, New York really doing a good job uh, of sealing the wall and shutting down any form of cycle. No space along those boards. That's one of the gifts of Ella Shelton. She really can shut down the cycle extremely well. She's strong on the puck to see Jaguar's in there. Have to be aware of where that puck is, though. Toronto comes away with it, but can't connect on that pass to Flanagan. Levis sends it up. Flanagan to Monroe. Back they go. Try a different setup this time. Toronto Flanagan flying in. It's turned away. Turned over, rather, by New York. Eldridge with room, far side, Bach on it, along with Knowles. And the loose puck chases. Near side. They go behind the net, below the goal line. That's two shutdown plays by Knowles, two just closing quick on Eldridge. Here comes times. Vespa, she's got, oh, can't get the pass off to Eldridge. It's getting caught up on Comfer. New York continues, Downey Landry fires towards the net. Eldridge again. Kept out by Campbell. Okay, back to the action here. Carpenter over to Eldridge in the offensive zone, New York. Zandy Hart along the wall. LaRock on Rock to free the puck. They're not a fast now. She sends it up to Connors in the skates. Multi gets there first with Baker on it too. And in front of the net. Can't connect, Blair Turnbull trying to create something right in front of Schroeder. Toronto in the New York zone. Can't keep the cycle going, Eldridge. Play it off. So they go for a line change, Eldridge still on the ice for New York. So is Emma Woods and Levis. And Eldridge knows how, how to score goals, and, and Knowles has played her really well a couple times down low. Some solid one-on-ones to just close quickly. And Nurse tries to go for a bit of a stretch pass. It gets intercepted in the neutral zone. Jaguar. Now Bourbonnet. Backhand to Shelton. Taking control back below their own goal line this time. Keeping Nurse at bay. Shelton to Woods, Woods looking up, trying to find that lane to Jaguar. Back inside the New York zone, they'll carry it out themselves. Shelton and Jaguar Need to work it from their own end. Campbell plays it quick. Levis was getting in close. Jesse Comfer now. She'll carry it up. Takes the shot. It's a hard one. There for Bach to bring it back to Howard. Down low, Hobson with pressure. For New York, Emma Woods as well. In white, coming up on Brittany Howard. Well, Hobson does a real nice job there. She actually pushes back defensive side, and when that puck comes loose, she's able to jump on it because she made that decision to push back. And the Rock getting in on it too. Poking at the puck. Did take Toronto until the third period in their last game one week ago. Scotiabank Arena to get on the board. New York has been able to get going as well, but now comes Blair Turnbull with a pass to Malte. She scores! Toronto on the board first, and it's Emma Malte who gets the job done. Second goal of the season. She's got happy hands. Well, Feeling this, good about this. This all starts on the board check. They were on the hunt down low, and then they squeeze the wall. You can see the stand up in the neutral zone, and that's where the turnover happens. Their turnover gets on the hunt. I think she's going to shoot. Everyone thinks she's going to shoot. But Emma Malte is able to bat that down out of the air. It all comes off of the turnover. And then look at her go the other way, off of the body, finds a puck, and puts it in the net. But this is a perfect reminder of when you get in on the hunt, and you set two in on the board check, and you 
through squeeze and seal the wall. Turnovers happen. And that's how they were able to get going north. And it's going to be Blair Turnbull who's going to get the assist on that. But how about Emma Malte getting her second? She's got that nose for the net. And LaRock as well with the puck right now, getting the secondary assist. She comes flying through. Tries to split the coverage there. Well, because of the positioning on the board check, everyone knew where that next pass was going. And now mm -hmm. all of a sudden you can anticipate. And LaRock did a great job just knowing where it was going to go. Seize and just, I say seize and squeeze. That's a new one. <laughs> seize and I squeeze. Like that. Trademark. Cheryl Pounder. <laughs> All right, Flanagan though. Now Toronto feels like they're rolling nurse to Flanagan and Bourbonnet says no way. I'm reading that all the way through. Sarah Nurse. It's offside. Brooke Hobson with urgency for New York. Want to get out of this zone. New York so dangerous. They know how to get equalizers at even strength. They've done it just three games prior to this one in Ottawa, late in the third, down three goals. Comfort with confidence coming past Hobson this time. Down low. Oh, and there's the physical play to free the puck for New York. Peyton Levis finds it. Near side interrupted by Fast. And back to the point, Bach quick to it. Downey Landry for New York. Feeds it up to Levis. They go for a line change. Sarah Nurse along the far wall had a Miller. It gets stripped though. But back again, Toronto takes it. Nurse now trying to find some room. Shelton covering the ice in front. The rock from the point. She's already teed up a goal in this game. The best bet of Downey Landry this time. Over to Eldridge with a shot saved by Campbell. Kicked way out. Miller collects it. And again, fast now with a shot in front. That coughed up rebound. Vespa gets to it first. Spooner, far side. to the neutral zone. Vespo is hoping to squeeze through, but Turnbull takes it around. Malte again. Already one goal on the night. Connors. Well, that was a real smart play by Emma Malte. She actually looked over her shoulder, knew she couldn't go back to the point, and then tried to change the point of attack. Maggie Connors centering feed. Turnbull! And in front, Malte pushed over there by Rock. Effectively, when well, you're seeing the combination of Turnbull and Malte really come into effect here. But we've got a penalty on the way. Jesse Edwards with a low shot, recognizing that two players are driving the net. Puck goes the other way, and look at this feed. It's a triangle and all around it. But Schroeder makes the save, and then there it comes. Contact on Sandy Hart. Friendly teammates with the national team, and foes on the ice, and so now New York. Heads back to the power play, looking for the equalizer. And 0-3 coming into this fourth power play opportunity this game. Just one shot off in those advantages. Toronto with the best penalty kill in the league, and this is arguably the biggest of this game right now. New York. Carpenter certainly up to the challenge of getting that equalizer. She's good on the power play, good on special teams. Support on the power play and on the penalty kill. In the team's last game against Montreal, here comes Spooner, though, shorthanded, weaving around, trying to find that space for LaRock. Well, here's the thing, right? I mean, you're up a goal, you definitely want the jailbreak, but you got to be calculated, right? Because you don't want to give an extra player advantage if you get caught up and not in the attack. Spooner will seize that opportunity, but so will Carpenter. She'll take it around. That support far side from Bourbonnet. Trying to shove Vasco off the puck. It's loose, Jesse Comfer. We'll just send her right back. Uh, she knew that Renata Foss needed a change. Done a nice job so far up high. When the puck's up high, they had a nice steer down the wall, and then they force New York into a smaller, tighter space. Halfway through this New York power play, their fourth of the game. Interesting there. Allie Monroe actually looked far side and she knew that the rim wouldn't work, so she skated it further and then elected to put it off the glass and down the ice. 
Toronto certainly very familiar with Anatomy Athletic Center and just how these boards play as well. Hobson to Woods. And that's a stick I'm talking about up high again now by Kogan. We saw it twice by Natalie Spooner. Danny Landry with that pressure on fast. Toronto still with control. It is a New York power play. A big chance for the visitors to get the equalizer. Final 10 seconds. Trying to play smart here. Zandy Hart. Back to Woods. No shots so far on this power play as it officially expires. And here's a chance for Sarah Nurse coming in close. She gets the shot and crashes the net. That was a hard collision with the post as Sarah Nurse drove the action. Great stick by Sarah Nurse here. And she gets her feet moving, recognizing that she can take the ice. She gets inside the dot, trying to go short side, blocker side. And she's just she's taken out into that post. And again, just a little bit of a steal here. Right now, she doesn't have much time. She takes the space, and there it is. And it did not look good. And thankfully, she is going to be just fine, and there's no call on the play. And that's the crowd reaction we're hearing right now. But just quickly, back to the penalty kill. Talked about Toronto being the best in the league. Well, they are now with the four good penalty kills in this game. 14 for 14 against New York through their four games played so far. Shelton to Downey Landry. Still time for New York here to get the equalizer. They know how to score in bunches. Sarah Nurse at the faceoff circle. So she's back in action, just shrugging off what just happened. Downey Landry. And a keep possession here for the visitors. Woods. Faces it back into their own end. We're now within the final two minutes of regulation. Shelton scanning, looking ahead. New York's last three games, all of which they won, went to overtime. And we've got a big collision down low. The crowd is trying to react, but the puck's still in play. Things still moving out on the ice. Fast. And Vespa down low, LaBelle. Ends it to the far wall this time, LaRock to Malta. Now Maggie Connors, she's going to try to take it away. Zandi Hart right on it. Captain for New York doing everything she can. As we approach the final minute of regulation. Ali Monroe keeps it in the offensive zone for Toronto. New York just down one goal right now. Less than a minute to go in regulation. Abby Rock. She's gonna play it off the near wall this time. Jesse Eldridge. She takes it to the slot. Carpenter in front. It's saved by Campbell. There's an empty net on the other side. Again, another chance. So it's six on five. New York desperate to tie things up. And Carpenter just did everything she could. Bourbonnet back to Rock. And Eldridge feeding it in front. Toronto sees that empty net, but they'll just push it down. And within the final 30 seconds, crowd getting on their feet here inside Mattamy. Empty net on New York's side. So you got six attackers here for the visitors. They want to tie this up as the seconds continue to wind down. Natalie Spooner. And now in front, Shelton scores! Ella Shelton. Gets New York on the board. Just under eight seconds left in regulation, New York. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. And look at this play to the middle of the ice, getting in behind us, Alex Carpenter, all alone on Campbell, and it's saved by the bell, if you will, by Connors, who comes in behind to save it, and then just playing that puck up the wall, and guess who seals it? It's gonna be Alex Carpenter, the defender. Ella Shelton, who got the very first goal in this building to start it off, is going to get the equalizer with 8.6 seconds left. Unbelievable. This game is never over, but she actually pulls that puck forehand, backhand, back to forehand, a little bit of a spin, and puts it home. Sandy Hart in the far corner. She'll pin it. They will take it into overtime. Oh, we got to add some time to it, Cheryl. Especially when the goaltender has pitched a shutout for that many minutes, 121-16. Campbell really helped 
changed the trend for PWHL Toronto, but Abby Rock looking to do the same for New York. She's got Carpenter with the feet, take a shot up high off the glass. Rimmed around, a possession game. Turnbull trying to bump Rock off the puck. Ella Shelton just scored that big goal for New York. The tie things up, Turnbull right in front of the net, takes it away, nearly steals it for the shot. Malte, she's got the lone goal so far for Toronto. That one in regulation, we're now in overtime. LaRock is going to trade places. Fine nurse this time, Malte in front. That's a good stick by Rock because Emma Malte was wide open if it got through. Malte now nurse. She tries to control it. Rock right on her. Circles back around, takes the near side. Trying to find that space in the middle. Flanagan's there now. Spooner takes a shot. That one just wide. Natalie Spooner, far side. Sarah Nurse tries to get to it. Abby Rock. More than a minute into this three on three overtime, tied at one. Toronto, New York. Micah Zandy Hart. She's trying to get around Spooner this time. And uh, Jesse Eldridge coming in fast. Now Jade Downey Landry. The feed to Eldridge in front of the slot. That puck dangerously loose. Natalie Spooner tries to take it away. Downey Landry right there. Turnbull battling for it. Sandy Hart and Eldridge now near side. Flying up Flanagan to it. Dislodges the puck. Victoria Bach sends it up to the captain. Back again, battling for it. Eldridge. We're not the fastest skater on the ice now. He's wondering where she was. She should be out there again. She's keeping her eye on the bench with that long change for New York. Approaching the halfway point of this five-minute three-on-three, Jamie Bourbonnet. Oh, she's going to hold there because Downey Landry needs a change. You know, take their time, use a little bit of patience. Certainly paid off for New York. Again, that was a six-on-five that led to that equalizer by Ellis Shelton. Emma Woods now with speed. Jesse Confer trying to get in front. Woods to Jaguer. Jaguer. Looking for space near the goal line, down low. Up to Bourbonnet from the point. Woods looking to move into the slot. Jaguer. Jesse Comper has it near side. She gets turned around. Here comes Emma Woods. She knows how to score in big moments, too. Woods up to Shelton. You really need to create two on one. You've got to come to the puck and generate some switches, try and lose your coverage. If you're all spread out, it's easier to just play that sequence, player on player. And within the final two minutes now of this three on three overtime. New York Shelton, turnover by Sarah Nurse, and she's got plenty of room, but it's a penalty for Sarah Nurse, not quite thought. She was gonna get to play the crowd. Reacting to this, it'll be, it'll be four on three. Displeased with that. Now the fans don't like it, they think that this is a non-call as she just reaches in and then she gets her feet moving going the other way once she recognizes that she dislodged that puck and the whistle blows and she's kind of looking up going, come on! They do have the player advantage here. Toronto was perfect in regulation on the penalty kill. But lots of ice here. Now Shelton moves it around to Carpenter. Carpenter has two game winners under her belt already. She knows how to finish games, but LaRock steals it from her. Shelton, this is certainly a big advantage here for New York as time starts to wind down. Eldridge, puck loose, Turnbull will use the boards to send it down. As we approach the final minute here of this overtime, and now a big chance. Toronto has room. Schroeder out of her net, and that quick play. Works in New York's favor, it's four on three. Here is the final minute. New York, the big advantage here. There's Sarah Nurse penalty. Alex Carpenter takes time, feeds it up to Eldridge. And in front, Rock is there. Can't get the shot off. Micah Zandy Hart protecting the blue line. Back to Carpenter, Zandy Hart lets loose. Rock was in front, the screen, Rougeau. Final 30 seconds now, this game in overtime. Board battle, New York with all the opportunities here. 
Eldridge to Carpenter. Sends it back. That shot blocked by Rougeau. LaRock, there's 10 seconds left in this overtime. Short-handed now. Toronto to Turnbull. Fakes a shot. Oh, and it's loose. And her skates wax it. Throws it to the net. And that'll do for the three-on-three -three overtime. And it'll be Victoria Bach stepping up first for Toronto. She comes right on it. And it's saved by Schroeder off the pad. That's right, Ryan talks about the finesse of a Victoria Bach, and she's coming down the middle of the ice, that wide stance, a little bit fake to the backhand, and she drops Schroeder, she's down, she just can't elevate it into the net. Here comes Elizabeth Jaguer for PWHL New York, booed by the home crowd. She'll come up to center, slow it down, try to get around, and a very similar save for Campbell there as that of Schroeder. Well, two low bucks and just getting in a little bit tight, a little bit of a stall there, trying to get Campbell to bite, and she does it and just runs out of room, and that left pad seals the post. Yeah, Lee Spooner wants to change things here for Toronto. She's gonna go near side, trying to find the middle. She scores! Natalie Spooner. First to score in the shootout with New York. This is also the very first shootout on Toronto's home ice. That's a righty. I thought she might have been going glove high, but a little bit fake. It almost looked like she was going to go right glove. She's going pause, 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 pull to the backhand and puts it away. But here comes Alex Carpenter for New York. She's going to use a little bit of speed and Campbell with the save. That's a massive stop on a player like Alex Carpenter. Uh, everyone's coming down the middle of the ice. She's pausing, trying to open up that five hole, but Campbell doesn't bite. Now Lorianne Rouge, oh, she got the shootout winner in Montreal. She takes it wide, redirects, and just a little too wide. Oh, she was looking for a repeat performance in that shootout winner against Montreal. A little bit solid with that fake as she raises that right leg and just misses the net, pushes it wide. Now a chance for Abby Rock to get New York's first. She'll take it from center ice, go far side. Work her way to the center. Near, comes in, and it's stopped by Campbell. Off the pad again. Well, she's going side to side, right? So she's trying to pull Campbell to one side and then pull her back, trying to open something out. But she holds on to that puck a little long, and Campbell makes that read. Again, another left hand save. Namalte with a big opportunity for Toronto. She's coming quick, takes a shot, it's saved by Schroeder off the body. You can tell that Emma Malte wanted to get moving right away and just wanted to have a quick release shot. Again, she's going by hole as well. She sees it open just a little bit. She thinks she can get it, but Schroeder says, uh -huh. And so will Emma Woods will take this fourth shootout attempt for New York. Coming in slow and in the glove of Campbell! Again, just no speed coming in, a little bit of a stall, and right-handed shot going glove side, and I'm not sure she got all of it on it, but regardless, that's a nice save by Campbell. Natalie Spooner to take this one. They can win it with a goal. Natalie Spooner driving, getting in front. She scores! Toronto wins! And Natalie Spooner time she's coming in the other way right she goes to her forehand last time she went to her backhand that's a smart play by Natalie Spooner she knows that Schroeder played her the first time she scored going to the backhand this time she says I'm not gonna have you cheat on me I'm gonna go to the forehand side and the fans they were so ready for it they've been waiting what a moment in history